Activity completion. Track progress. Activity completion or completion tracking displays what students must do to complete each activity. They'll see the conditions when clicking into an activity and also, if the teacher chooses, on the course page. Activity completion reports are also available for teachers, as we can see here, so they can check the progress of their students in a course. Teachers can manually mark activities complete on behalf of their students. Let's go into Teacher Sam's course and see how to set this up. First of all, completion tracking or activity completion needs to be enabled site-wide, so if you don't see it in your course as a teacher, ask your administrator. Our Teacher Sam must first go to the Action menu top right and click Edit Settings. She then scrolls down to Completion Tracking. This should be enabled by default, but if not, she sets it to Yes. If she wants the conditions to appear on the course page as well as inside each activity, she sets Show Activity Completion Conditions to Yes. If Sam sets deadlines for some tasks, she can display these too by going to Appearance and setting Show Activity Dates to Yes. Now, our teacher can go into an activity or resource and set the completion tracking criteria. Sam has a course welcome page, and if she clicks into it and then clicks Edit Settings, she can then scroll down to select the criteria for activity completion. The choices are not to indicate it, to indicate it manually so students can manually mark as done, or to show it automatically based on criteria. Here, our teacher is going to select Manual Completion, so students must click the button to confirm they've done the activity. And to display the activity on the dashboard timeline, our teacher must click Expect Completed On with a date. In other activities, such as forums, there are other completion criteria. So if Sam goes into her Introduce Yourself forum and clicks Edit Settings again, and scrolls down to Activity Completion, we can see that there are various requirements. And in a forum, for example, our teacher can require a grade or require that students post a certain number of discussions or replies, and the activity will be marked complete when they've done that. Note also the link Course Completion from the drop down menu. Here, our teacher has three options. She can specify activities required for completing a course. She can change the default criteria and also bulk change criteria that have already been set.